John Farnham. Joining the honour roll, the project's Limo teamed up with Mick Malloy and headed to Afghanistan to do their bit for the troops. The war in Afghanistan has gone on for nearly 14 years. Almost 27,000 Aussies have been deployed to the region to assist the US-led operation. Today, just 400 troops remain. Actually, make that 402. Yes, pick the real soldier. Our mission, like so many before us, was to entertain the troops. You got bum with fat in this? <laughs> Here we are aboard a C-17, flying into Afghanistan. But as you see, we cannot complain about the leg room. We've got plenty of space here, and everyone's very excited about this particular flight. With the exception of Vic Malloy, who I believe could be dead. <laughs> when we landed in Kabul, we were reminded that we just arrived in one of the most dangerous cities in the world. There are definitely times that I've been scared over here and that's just part and parcel of the job that we're doing over here. We have briefs, you know, basically every morning, different intel, and so there's various things we'll get told to look out for, be aware of. The most common one is, is white Corolla. There's 4,963 <laughs> white Corollas, uh, yeah. A couple of months ago, sobering reminder that we are actually in a war zone here. There was an explosion outside the compound that actually blew some of these windows in. Not a very pleasant way to wake up in the morning. The war in Afghanistan has come at a high price. It's estimated a staggering 21,000 Afghan civilians have lost their lives. For the Aussies, 41 troops never made it home. Nearly 260 were left physically wounded and many more psychologically scarred. The reality of war is never far from the minds of those still serving. For the guys that you know, may have been here a couple of months, uh, it gives them two hours where they may not be in Afghanistan, they could be anywhere else. Can I just say, we support you in everything you do, but how about invading a hot country? How about invading Vegas, the Maldives, something like that? I was watching uh, local TV in Kabul just last night, and it's much like Western TV, uh, but of course with a slight Afghan twist. Uh, we saw an episode of uh, I'm a Jihadi, get me out of here. <laughs> CSI Kabul, it's a reality show here. <laughs> and Big Bang Theory. Um... Being away from home for so long, you go through like waves and everything where people are up and down and all over the place, so stuff like this is like really good. Not everyone has a, a good sense of, um, you know, <laughs> humour over here, so it's really good to uh, get something fresh, uplifting, yeah, real good. To be able to tune out of the mission and out of their day job is fantastic for them. It's a real shot in the arm for them, right? They even gave us a taste of what life on base is really like. All I'm looking for is that kind of guys want to be me, girls want to do me feel. <laughs> <laughs> Being thousands of k's away and in such trying conditions, it was moving to see no matter where we went or who we met, Australia was right there with them. The Australian flag flies everywhere we fly and we fly for the flag too. Yeah, yeah. Mm. and well done, well done the Mick and Lemo. They've been over before and they, they've done it a few times now, so great stuff, boys. Oh, he loved love doing Lemo, really. He feels honoured to do it. Yeah, mm. absolutely. Really does, yeah. If you've just joined us, here's what's making news Tuesday the 24th of March. A